lot of misconception about the idea of a hunting guide, you know, everyone thinks it's this glamorous, you know, nine to five, drive around everywhere, no work, piece of cake, but um, it's more than just the hunting, you know, you, if you can't get on with multiple personalities of people, you're never going to make it, I mean, all your clients that come through your door, none of them are the same, you know. Guys are similar, but they're all they're all completely different. Yeah, guys who are quiet who want to, you know, come home from the hunt and just go go have a share and be with themselves a wee bit. You have the guys that you know they're on your side the whole time. They're chatting to you, you're talking non-stop. As soon as you get home, you're having a beer, you're having a laugh. So you got to be able to you know cater for those different personalities. And um, yeah, it's very special being able to make you know people's dreams come true. I mean, we have grown men who are hunters, who have hunted all their lives, break down in tears right in front of us and, you know, hug and, you know, you can't let go of them because they're just holding on. The emotion's just overwhelming and it, you know, it's, it's an awesome feeling to have and to witness and to be a part of and know that you have helped make that guy's dream come true. Um, and, you know, for a lot of people, it's, it's a once in a lifetime. They're here in New Zealand they travel halfway around the world and they're only going to do it once. And you know, that's it. It's very special. It's, it's awesome.